you're my hero. Thank you for going to my uh, family's village here. Hey, my name's Robert Inlakesh, and I've just came back from uh, Palestine, Occupy Palestine, the West Bank. I stayed there for a quarter of a year before being kicked out by the Israeli government. The reason I was kicked out is because I was found to be in demonstrations, peaceful demonstrations for the Palestinian people. That's what they do to anybody who comes from around the world to witness their crimes. They will ban you from the country. Today we're going to talk, we're here to talk about the imprisonment and the torture of Palestinian children. I'd just like to say that since I have exited Palestine, since I've been kicked out of Palestine, I know 10 people, 10 friends of mine, who have been imprisoned by the Israelis. 10. One of them was just let out yesterday. This includes Abdul Khalik Burnett, who is a 17-year-old uh, teenager. I stayed in his home, in the home of the Burnetts, for over one month. I slept in the same room as this, as this boy. I went to the gym with him. I went to cafes with him. I shared much time with him. And when I heard that they're slapping 17 charges, 17 bogus charges on him for absolutely nothing, for existing as a Palestinian, I was horrified. I was shocked. And it's not just him. It's not just Ahid Tamimi. It's others. And this is happening every day. This is a regular. This has been happening since the state of Israel has occurred. This is not a new thing. And this is absolutely disgusting that we have a government in this country, because I am born in this country. Our government stands with the state of Israel. And we have people on the street over here, your uh, modern day uh, Nazis, who are standing there with an Israeli flag against a dem uh, demonstration against the imprisonment of children. We're saying that children should not be imprisoned. What is wrong about that? Why is the government in this country not standing up? Why are we selling weapons, allowing weapons to be sold and contracted to the state of Israel? Why? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. These people in Palestine are my friends. They're the family members of people here. And of course, we're going to feel this way about it. Of course, we're going to come and pack the streets. There's not enough people here today, unfortunately. But of course, we're going to feel this way. And we have to stand up every chance we have for the people of Palestine because nothing is being said. If we don't do anything, their voices are not heard. And I'd hate to say it, I hate to say it because she's a beautiful girl, but one of the only reasons this has got into the headlines is because she has blonde hair and blue eyes. Uh, maybe blue eyes, does she have blue eyes? I'm not sure. Blue eyes, okay. That's probably one of the only reasons this gets into the headlines. They shot a girl called Fatima Hajeji last year 20 times in the back at the Damascus Gate. 20 times. That wasn't on the news. Where was that? Where was the international outcry about that? Because she was in hijab. Because she looked like an Arab. We can only sympathize with people who look like us. Why is that? It's absolutely disgusting. So I'd like to hand over the mic again. It's got to interrupt there. It's not because she's got blonde hair at all. What it is, the Israelis have been scared of the Tamimi family for generations, for 